Don't pick up the phone, you know he's only caught cause he's drunk and alone too. Don't let him in, you'll have to kick him out again. I get you, Dua Lipa, I get you. So I'm catching the last few fragments of light today. Um, I impulsively decided to go to Whole Foods. A little later than usual, it is 5.30. Uh, we're kind of past golden hour at this point. So today I'll be shooting a little Q&A video for you guys. I asked for your questions on Instagram. SwaggyAppy82 wants to know, are you traveling anywhere new soon? So if you guys have been following me for a year plus now, you guys would know that last fall, so this time last year, I was abroad in Florence, Italy, which means I was kind of studying, or I was studying, I was kind of studying, I guess. I'm sorry, mom and dad. I was studying abroad in Florence, but when I was in Florence, I had the opportunity to travel to other countries. You know, so I went to actually nine countries overall, I'm pretty sure. So my next journey outside of the country is going to take place this January, and I'm really excited because I'm going to Asia. It's definitely going to be a major culture shock at first, just how different the cultures in Asia and America obviously are. Um, but I'm going there for a business program through my school, so I'm going to be obtaining college credit, visiting a bunch of businesses out there. I'm going to Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Vietnam, and I'm really, really excited. So for four weeks, I'll be in Asia. Kira Hall wants to know, how did you add written words to your photos, and how do you edit your photos? So I think she's referring to Instagram. So I actually, this is kind of cool, because I've never really discussed this in a video. I use an app called Procreate, which allows me to write or draw or do really anything on my iPad. I'll grab this. I hope it's not dead. Oh, it might be. Knowing me, is it dead? And it's dead. Sorry, guys. Okay. Well, so I have an iPad Pro, which is currently dead, and I use that in my finger, actually. Not even a stylus. I don't really prefer the stylus. Some people do. I don't. I actually prefer my finger with things like that. I write out words, quotes, whatever, on this app called Procreate, and then I export it as a PNG and pull it onto either my computer, which is how I can write on my videos, which I do a lot with my little like, hand scripty stuff. I write on my Instagram photos quite frequently, and what I do for that is I'll airdrop the photo that I took on my iPhone to the iPad, write on it, and then airdrop it back to my iPhone and then upload it. As far as editing goes, I use ViscoCam, uh, which a lot of people do, and I use the C8 filter as of right now. I'm kind of shifting my theme a little bit, but yeah. That's what I use. I am going to butcher this name, I just know it, and it's such a beautiful name, I'm gonna butcher it. It's uh, Mary Bresciani, how to work on body confidence. So in the realm of body positivity, I feel like I haven't done a video on body image or body insecurity for a while. I think it's been almost a year since I did my uh, I Hate My Thick Thighs video, I think that was what I called it. You know, and especially, I think one of my biggest biggest insecurities besides just the whole like lower body thing is like my cellulite and you know when I just like take my thigh and squish it and see all that and I'm like oh my god it just feels so disgusting you know but in terms of body positivity and like how I train myself away from you know getting really down about my cellulite and like the things that I have you know that are actually so extremely normal I even think the percentage is higher than 70% of women who have cellulite. Like, it's just like it's such a normal thing. Like, the thing is that I've learned is that people are way too busy criticizing themselves and critiquing themselves on every part of their body that the chances of them paying attention to you and the way your thighs look in those jeans is very slim. For lack of a better way to put it, people are obsessed with themselves and don't really have time to nitpick your body. The way I see it, my legs are getting me where I need to go. Reality Paula XO asks, favorite Starbucks drink in the fall? I'm extremely, extremely basic, but I have to say I really love pumpkin spice. I go for the hot pumpkin spice with skim or non-fat milk. But if I'm not feeling that, I love the flat white or I also like the cold brew if I'm thinking something cold. Um, big Starbucks girls, you guys can tell. Jasmine Nye 14 asks, how do you stop loving someone? Caroline Blue 23 asks, how do you not get discouraged after another boy decides to ghost you? There's a lot of questions about boys on here and I've actually come to terms with the whole the whole institution of dating in college and love in college and even in high school, I feel like this applies as well. I've kind of come up with a guide or like a rule of thumb, if you will. Number one, if you were given any explicit reason, you know, any like glaring kind of, you know, red flags that you might be wasting your time, you probably are. Number two, if they are into you, they will prove it or they should prove it. <laughs> so make them prove it. Number three, if they want to be in your life, they will be. And number four, don't give them the benefit of the doubt if they don't deserve it. The thing is that sucks is sometimes you don't even know that you fall into one of those categories or that you should be falling into one of those categories. A lot of times you're blinded by the prospect of having someone else in your life that you don't really realize you're not, your eyes aren't fully open and you don't really realize what's going on. You don't really realize that you should be 
valuing yourself more and maybe you know letting the other person prove to you that they're worth it or that they want to be in your life like sometimes you don't really realize that what you're doing isn't quite fair to you but you have to just you know open your eyes and think about your relationship and think about if it's healthy sometimes the most important things are the hardest things to hear and the hardest things to process and the hardest things to you know say goodbye to and sometimes it's very growing to cut things out of your life like what do you think October is October is the start of fall you know and fall is when the trees shed their leaves they shed the things that you know, no longer grows them or makes them better and you know sheds it and is like I'm Gucci by myself you know and that's what fall is and I think that's something that we should learn from October and I actually made that my Instagram caption the other day if you guys are insta followers if not you should be yeah so that's my mentality on the whole thing i mean the second question about the whole ghosting thing honey if they're gonna ghost you they never really wanted to be in your life and you might argue like oh maybe for a second they wanted to be in my life maybe for a second you know well in that case if they only wanted to be there for a second i mean what does that say about them you know i think that the true people that are supposed to be in our lives will stick it out i do believe in second chances i do believe that people can fuck up and you know come back into your life later on and you know be fine and you could you know have a happy life with them like I mean look at the notebook I do believe that it is possible but I also think that you can't you know sit around waiting for this person to come back in your life because that's not fair to you and that person if they truly love you wouldn't want you doing that anyway you know wouldn't want you sitting around pining over them while they're getting their shit together you know the second that I adopted the idea that sometimes you have to be selfish and sometimes you have to know when to say bye <laughs> that was a very very growing point in my life because I for a while have had a very hard time saying bye to things that I know are bad for me. Abby Diaz wants to know, what are you going to be for Halloween? So Halloween weekend, or the weekend before Halloween, is actually my birthday. So my birthday is on Friday, October 27th. Uh, so mark your calendars, everyone. I'm turning 22. But yeah, so Halloween's a huge deal for me because it's been my birthday weekend for my entire life for 22 years now. So this is my 22nd very exciting Halloween birthday weekend. So I'm going to be dressing up, I think, as Cher from Clueless this year, I've always said I wanted to and I never have, so I think I'm gonna do that. I might be something bloody, like a, a vampire or a, a, what's it called, a, a corpse bride or something like that, because I love blood. Not like real blood, I love like fake blood. And I kind of also want my friends and I to dress up like old ladies because we're seniors, so it kind of like makes sense that we're like senior, senior citizens, you know, so. Veronica Emily asks, what is my biggest regret? I suppose in a nutshell, my biggest regret so far has been in my life, like periodically, just not telling people how I actually feel. I'm really good at talking, to, you know, to a camera, to people, whatever, you know, but sometimes I feel like I hear myself hiding certain things that I'm feeling. I find myself kind of diluting myself a little bit for the comfort of others. You know, I'm kind of worried that I'm coming on too strong, that I'm being too much. Like I find myself sometimes talking and thinking, oh my God, am I talking too much? I really, really have diluted myself in a lot of situations, you know, not letting myself express myself fully, you know, how I want to be, or even like with relationships, I feel like a lot of times I haven't really been expressive with my needs and like you know what I want so yeah that's been a pretty substantial regret for me nothing like too specific believe me it kind of just takes a conscious decision that you don't give a fuck uh, to snap you out of that and it's definitely taken me a while to adopt that sort of mentality but I promise you you will get there and you know it just takes that conscious like I don't give a fuck to get you there <laughs> so yeah that is it for this video I hope you guys all enjoyed Maybe uh, learn something about yourself or me or something like that. And I'll be back at you again with another video very, very soon. So yeah, that's it. All right, bye. <laughs>